Hello everyone, welcome to the Demo Lab. I'm Dr. Andrew Davis, and today we're gonna to be learning how to assemble your OmniCell. So when you receive your OmniCell, you will have the following parts. So to start assembling your uh, OmniCell, you have a back plate, which you will find a rubber seal is normally in place already. And you have a spacer plastic mount, which just goes over the sides. You then take a window, here we're using ZNSE, and what you will find is that the back window is completely flat with no holes drilled in it. And you mount that into the cell. So. You then want to insert a spacer, so in this case we're using a PTFE uh, half a millimetre thick spacer, and you just insert it into the cell. You then take the front window, and what you will find is with this window, there's actually two holes drilled in it at the top and the bottom for the liquid to flow in and out of your cell. So you insert that into the cell, taking care that both holes are clear of the spacer so that the liquid can flow into the cell, into that space you've created between the windows. If the spacer is blocking the hole, Reassemble the cell, ensuring that the spacer isn't in the way. You then take the front of the Omni cell and just simply insert it onto the Omni cell. You then have some clever little nuts that you can drop on. It takes a couple of seconds to drop them on, and then you can just simply tighten them up to secure your Omni cell. And if you go in a pattern where you um, adjust each one a little bit at a time, you help reduce the risk of cracking your window. And once they're finger tight, your OmniCell is built and ready for use. Learn more about the OmniCell in our application note, Liquid Film FTR Analysis of Esterification Reaction Products in the OmniCell. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.